How's the driving going? I don't like people telling me what to do. Like the law? Like teaching you how to drive? <laughs> no. I'll take you, let's go. I feel like She's I can't gonna go with you because Noah's gonna, I'm gonna be like crashing into all these things. You'd be like, you're doing so good. <laughs> you're doing so, I'm so proud of you. The history of Charlie is she likes her comfort zones. I think Charlie's scared to drive because outside of the house is scary a little bit. I feel like everyone else started practicing driving before they even got their permit. I feel like I'm a wee bit behind. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, you don't like to leave the house? Uh, that was a clip from the hot new reality series, The D'Amelio Show, featuring the family that has everybody talking. The D'Amelios have skyrocketed to fame, reached record-breaking heights with a combined fan base. Get this, of over 200 million TikTok followers. Pretty impressive. Wow. Joining us now are social media sensations, the D'Amelio family themselves, right here <laughs> in studio. Mark, Heidi, Dixie, and Charlie, thank you for being with us, all of you. And uh, Charlie, I'll start with you. I know that obviously so many teens dream of being famous. I mean, you have literally grown up in the spotlight. <laughs> you and your sister are two of the most followed people on social media wow. in this country. So how, I don't know, how have you handled that pressure? I mean, have you felt the pressure of that? I definitely feel the pressure at times. I think my my easiest way to deal with it is really to rely on my family, which sounds so cheesy, but it's so true. And they've been there for me every step of the way before I had any followers. So they're really, they help me through they everything. They keep you grounded. Oh, yeah. That's not cheesy. And anytime you say you've got your family support, uh, something about social media and young folks, we have studies out there and people actually warn against sometimes the dangers of social media when it comes to kids and their mental health. You have talked about that and been open about it, but how have you kind of balanced that and, and I guess use it for a force for good, if you will? I think social media is always looked at as such a negative thing and how much hatred that's online. And it is there, but recently I've just been looking at the ratio of negative and positive. If I have 100,000 hate comments, that number is so small compared to the 54 million people that love and support me. And that's how I started looking at things. And that's helped my mental health a lot. Um, Mark, it, it feels like for, for people who've been watching it, you really went from zero to 100 pretty quickly. And let me just rattle off a few things you've been able to put together very quickly, successfully. A clothing line, music, podcast, wow. red carpet appearances. And now, of course, you've got a big show. And you're navigating this while having your daughters. I've got two teenage daughters, so I get it as well. Uh, do you ever say this is too too much. I mean, how do we talked about balance? How do you balance it as a father? Yeah, I think about it all all the time, and I, we keep focus on our happiness. So I just ask. We have these conversations all the time, and I'm just, are we still happy? Are we happier today than we were when this all started? And we're having a blast doing this, and we're very lucky. And today. It's all good, and we're excited. <laughs> well, well, Heidi, she just mentioned all the things you have going on, but still, it's a, it, to go from no matter how many followers you have on social media, it's another thing to now put the family on TV. Uh, what are your, uh, I guess, what are, are you concerned about or, or, or excited about even by making kind of a, a transition there? Um, I, I was the last on board with this, <laughs> wow. to be honest. Um, I just felt like that was the last bit of like our life to ourselves, oh. and. Um, just over the time, I felt we all kind of agreed that there were misconceptions about us out there, and we felt strongly that let us tell you our story, and that's why it is a docu-series, and it is very much a documentary of our life and what happens on the flip side of this quick rise and everything that goes along with it. You, so we're excited about you it. You said last on board. Who was first on board and most excited of the group? Mm. I don't know. I feel well, like I think all three of them. The, yeah, <laughs> all of three them. against one. Yeah, <laughs> I lost that battle. But I was, I, they, I, it did make the most sense. So. Uh, well, congrats, you all. It is really remarkable to see. It is no small thing to build what you all have built, uh, and it seems like everybody out there is trying it. It's no easy feat. It is incredible what you all have done, and you're keeping the family together and doing it together. So. Congrats. And a message of happiness and joy. Yes. And I think up. that's part of the reason why you guys are so successful. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. And folks, the D'Amelio Show premieres September 3rd on Hulu. Join, watch it, and all the other 200 million folks that will be watching <laughs> as well. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.